Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to try to get this uh, Radio Master GX16S to work with this one, my Flatline Consoles Air, and I'm using a hard see down there Spectrum AR630 receiver. Ain't much of a <coughs> videos out there telling us about this. It's quite easy actually, but let's do it anyway. Before you start with anything, you need this. Good old Spectrum. And you need to program that receiver. Without that, you can't get this one to work. Because the OpenTX is not ready to program yet. Once everything is set up, um, we can proceed with this one. And uh, I'm gonna get my stand ready somehow. Or maybe I should try to hold this gold probe by hand. Let's start by holding it. First thing we need to do is to create a new model. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Let's try this one. No. This is the second time I'm trying to do this, so it's not... So bear with me, please. Uh, model select, perhaps. And I... Oh, right. Let's try this again. Model select. And... Create model. And it's a plane. We got an engine. And I'm using this as default aileron elevator throttle rudder mode, AETR. So I'm going to use channel 3. Thank you. Is it next page, perhaps? Yes. Um, number of ailerons. I've got one. And I'm using a Y cable. Next up is flaps. Yes. And I've got one channel as well. And I think that's channel six. I'm not entirely sure. First time. And. Oh well, let's try this again. And I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm not sure about these uh, flaps though, but we'll leave it as it is. And with analog, we have a new model, number six, yes. I will leave the name for now. Uh, I think we got a F for you. And uh, well, all we need now to do is to go down to internal mode. RF multi change that to DSM 
and this one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, they seem to have changed stuff. If you see, it doesn't say 22 milliseconds anymore. This is actually DMS X, and uh, I'm gonna leave this on auto. It seems to work. Uh, let's see, we only need seven channels for this plane. Receiver number is going to be number two. First one was the beaver. And now we're done at this point. Now I need to activate the receiver in binding mode. How you do that, I'm pretty sure you know. All right. It's blinking. It's done. Now we need to press bind. X2F AETR. And we are ready. It's that simple. Almost at least. Uh, the plane is actually ready to fly. Let's see if uh, everything is moving the right way. No, we need to reverse the ailerons we need to reverse the elevator and how about the rudder the rudder is actually working the right way so we're going to head down to Uh, let's see, mixes. No, let's change this one. Uh, channel one. I think that's the elevator. And now it's moving the right way. Next up is the elevator. Let's change that one. Up, down, perfect. And the engine is running the right way and yeah. So we can actually fly this plane now. That's all. We don't have the actual setup for the uh, safe and so on. So I'm going to press Sys and DSM forward programming. And this is why we can't use... Uh, before I have actually made this to work, I had to update the OpenTX and I had to update the firmware for the module. When I received this receiver two days ago, three days ago by now, uh, it uh, had uh, OpenTX 1... 1.3... Uh, is it 2? 3? I don't know. Uh, it's an old version at least and I had to update everything to get this to work it told me he couldn't find a suitable receiver and that's not if the multi-protocol module can't read it it's not surprising anyway as you can see we get plenty of unknowns in these menus that's why you can't use it to program and the only thing we actually need is this flight mode setup. And we need to know the channel. And it's seven. 
Now we're done. Uh, now we go into the model and we're gonna head into mixes again. And we head into channel seven. And let's call it mode perhaps. Like so. Our source is not S2. I'm using SE as my source, uh, just as the red fly version of uh, the spectrum receivers. And I think that's it. Let's try it out. Back out. I had the So let's see if we can see how it's moving, trying to correct everything. Now we got safe activated. Just by flicking this switch. Now we got AS3X. I can't hear it before of the noises, but it should work. And that's it. All you need to do is to check what channel it's on and then create the mix. That's it. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.